it's one of my favorites i probably would be mentioning munbeva i think that's the song you're talking about i never take it easy like asha ji is a true inspiration in that way munbeva ki recording ho ya there are many songs like that ya barso re barso megha ho rehman sir ke sath har recording bahut khaas hoti hai so i was watching one of your interviews and you said that uh... is one tamil song of uh, rehman sahab that that's one of your favorites uh, you don't understand the language but but still it is your favorite what exactly is a song for you the life of a song what exactly does it mean as in you saying when i sing that song in a studio or when i'm listening to any song because like say when you said that uh, this is one of my favorite songs obviously this is much later that that you're thinking that this is one of your favorite songs it's very obvious that you literally feel all your songs in terms of the way you approach them once once you've sung it and once it once it becomes popular people start it then what is the life of a song for you yeah i think uh, for a singer the journey of a song is much different from an audience point of view mm. so uh, with any song that uh, now if i'm saying it's one of my favorites i probably would be mentioning munbeva i think that's the song you're talking about you know for me any uh, recording session is also very important how i sang that song when i went what are the things that were happening so much goes into the process of making the song so there's a lot of uh, uh, memories attached to how that song got created and then once it's out and then you hear it in as an uh, overall how the final song turned out cuz many a times we don't get to hear all the things many things happen after i've sung the song so many instruments have been added after that with rehman sir it's especially like that so it's always a surprise ki acha iske baad ye gana aisa ho gaya itna magical ho gaya of course that journey is very special so munbeva ki recording ho ya there are many songs like that ya barso re barso megha ho रहमान सर के साथ हर रिकॉर्डिंग बहुत खास होती है एंड हिज चेन्नई स्टूडियो हैज अ वेरी पायस वेरी आई डोंट नो वेरी डिवाइन फील सो वेन एवर आई गॉन इन फैक्ट वन ऑफ द रिकॉर्डिंग आई क्लियरली रिमेंबर दैट आई वॉज सिंगिंग फॉर अ तमिल फिल्म विनय तांडे वरवाया एंड देर इज अ सॉन्ग कॉल आरो मली विच इज मोर ऑफ एन आला ऑफ एन इम्प्रोवाइजेशन बट रात के वो एक दो बजे का रिकॉर्डिंग शुरू होती है ज्यादातर ही ऐसा हुआ है तो रात के जो उन्होंने अपनी स्टूडियो में एक मोमबत्ती वो कैंडल जलाते हैं दरगाह की और उसके बाद रिकॉर्डिंग शुरू हुई वो एक दो तो घंटे ऐसा जो माहौल था कि मतलब ऐसा आई फील आई फील आई वॉज इन अ ट्रांस सो दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स रियली मेक अ सॉन्ग मच मोर स्पेशल टू मी आई मीन नाउ आई रिमेम्बर दीज मोमेंट ओके नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ योर क्लासिकल ट्रेनिंग यू हैव दिस यूनिक एबिलिटी to perform shrutiyan while you're singing which is like the sub notes within 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 notes what is interesting is when you when when we listen to your songs that you make your songs sound very simple so that anyone can possibly sing it but in fact they're not simple there are there is a lot of layering which which you're actually putting into it why is it important for you to keep the songs simple so that it doesn't look complicated to common people and how do you manage to just get those shrutiyan right each time i don't know it's it's happened over the time i think i've learned a lot being in the industry learning from my composers and my you know seniors my contemporaries over the time i have figured out a song every song is different every song's approach has to be different talking about simplicity if it's for a film and if it's for a situation the ultimate goal uh, when that song has been recorded is that it uh, speaks the right language it's it gives the right emotion out so that that time i can't be like the i'm the performer meri ye harkat dekho mere ye taane dekho wo nahi hai then i cannot become greedy about my skills it has to be all of that is technique but main thing is to make sure that the what i am trying to say through my tonality my graces my shrutiyan jo bhi aap bole ya my uh, improvisations is all for expressions and i give a lot of weightage to expressions because um without expression um, you know a very difficult song can start sounding uh, abrupt uh, you know jerk sa lagega uh, and very simple song ko agar aapne bahut hi zyada usme koi pyar diya hi nahi to fir wo boring lagega so hmm. there is a very fine line between where you have to simplify where you have to add the nuances and those things i've learned over the years and I now know where I can. I see that there is a lot of space here, but I can do a lot of things when I let go sometimes, because uh, mm-hmm. my uh, 
I'm, it's not a stage performance. That time when a person is listening to the song, it has to be bliss. It should not take over that the artist is trying to say something. It should never, never become that. That should not be the highlight. All right. So uh, I've been lucky to have interviewed Asha Bosleji several times. And each time you speak to him, I think she's a fabulous, fabulous artist and a great human being. So she once told me that uh, each song that she, that she has to sing in the studio, she approaches it as her first song. Mm -hmm. She has the same level of uh, uh, nervousness while she's approaching the studio and she's rehearsing for it. She is uh, checking the lyrics. She's speaking to the lyricist about the nuances. She's speaking to the, the music composer that, whether she, uh, that how she's supposed to uh, take this note. And then she's speaking to the recordist. While she goes before the mic, she's nervous as well. I was watching one of your interviews and you said that uh, the sentiment that you have before recording is that of nervousness as well. <laughs> I think it, it happens. You can't help it. Because, you know, I'm always, every day when I wake up in the morning, I think I'm going to feel like 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 I'm Every day is different. Every a uh, song is like a challenge to me. I never take it easy. Like Asha Ji is a true inspiration in that way. And we have grown up seeing these uh, stories and hearing the, about these stories of how they have uh, mastered uh, the, the skill of singing and so many thousands and thousands of songs and each song a gem, you know. I mean, I've learned it from here. And I think that that thing is ingrained in me now. Jab main studio jati hun, now zamana aage, WhatsApp ka and you can while I'm in the car because problem is I I want to give a lot of time to each song but uh, people are in a very fast uh, uh, output life there is hardly any patience or a, that the the usual days of a journey of a song rehearsals ho rahi hai, there's a process which used to be there that is gone now. <laughs> So now we have to make our own process. So gaadi mein jate jate, it's not too far. The studios are not too far. So I get about 15 minutes. So I listen to while in the car. So it's on loop. Till I'm going inside the studio, I have listened to the song as many times, as many times. Ki ho, composer ki mein jaisa bhi gaya hua hai. Because at the end of the day, I believe that I, uh, I want to make sure that the composer has a certain idea about the song he wants or she wants me to sing in a certain way uska ek creation hai uska ek visual uh, visualization hai that uh, he has had i should not uh, usko gaane ko i don't want to ruin it ki maine apne hisab se interpret karke kuch ga diya i don't want to do that so i i never take it easy i never take it lightly so i go very prepared into the studio and once i'm in the studio then it's very easy because aap usme usi zone mein hai so you go to the mic and it goes All right, so what is the importance of practicing the standing note? Oh my God. Talking about Riyaz, this is a very big interview. But I think standing note, actually the main thing is you should have control over what you want to sing. Whether you are putting a straight note or you want to give a volume of dynamics or you want to give a vibrato or you want to give a soft tonality in a soft husky or you want to give a soft and bright tone. That's all the things that you practice. Especially for film songs and especially for commercial film or pop songs. And I feel that in classical, it's so dynamics of the dynamics uh, ahmiyat kam hai. Film songs mein bhoat zyada hai. So standing note ho ya soft ho ya pe sa 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 ye sari cheez ko aap aapke aapke vash mein hona chahiye. So usi ka riyaz hai chote bachpan se yeh kiya hai. So abhi bhi kar rahi hu. Nothing is perfect. Every day I feel oh aaj sur mein lag raha hai mera. So <laughs> Alright. Uh, importance of talafuz pronunciation. I feel now, nowadays it has become like aap jitna galat talafuz uh, kare to utna behtar hai. Aaj kal aisa lag raha hai mujhe. But humne to yehi suna hua hai because I learned from classical music and meri kaafi guru ji's guru ho se zikha hai mene. But when I came to Bombay, I learned the tutelage of Kalyanji uncle. Kalyanji Anand ji ke Kalyanji bhai. So mujhe dheer saal, do saal un, un se sikhne ka mauka mila. And there he said, 
this was the first thing that he said that in fact i i learned urdu also maine mere ek teacher the wo unhone mujhe urdu sikhai di thi ki talaffuz ka jo importance hai wo bahut zyada hai kyunki agar aap kuch bhi ga rahe hain aur aap usko galat pronounce kar rahe hain to aadha aapka pura emotion hi nikal gaya koi sun raha hai us gaane ko usko laga ki ye kya bol ke chala gaya samajh hi nahi aaya ya i think that word was not clear and i think the same is important when i sing all the regional songs also so wherever i'm singing whatever language be it, whether i speak that language or not i give it my 100% focus to make sure that i am singing the word right and i'm pronouncing it properly and uska har shabd ko jis tarah se aap pronounce kar rahe hain usi mein uski aadhi emotion to udhar hi hai